What's up everybody, today I'm going to be going over how to swap out a print head on the Bamboo A1 printer. I've got a hardened print head that will allow me to print out things like carbon fiber and abrasive filaments. I keep this thing downstairs in my basement to keep it away from all my kiddos. So the lighting isn't that great down here, but uh, I'll do my best. So the first step is going to be to unload your filament. You're going to go into settings, click on filament and click on unload. Wait for this thing to finish unloading. So one of the reasons you might want a hardened print head is some of the more advanced materials are a bit abrasive and the print head that comes with the printer is a softer metal. This will stand up to those abrasive materials. I stuck with the same size. I got the 0.4. This is just a hardened version thereof. The old one will just become a backup. Now reminder, when you're swapping out the print head, you're going to be touching the hot end of the printer. So you're going to want to make sure you're careful not to grab anything that's going to burn you. Now, before you do this, all you need to do is retract the filament a little bit. I went to about there. Now back in the control, I'm going to go to settings, maintenance, and put it in maintenance mode. Now that it's in maintenance mode, what I like to do is go back to the settings and click on control and then click on X, Y, Z. So you can control the position of the print head and hit the home button. And that will orient the plate and the print head. And then you should probably give this thing a minute or two to cool down as well. After it's cooled down, what I'm going to do is raise up the print head just so I can center it in the shot, but put it in whatever position works best for you. The door hinges in from the top. If you've never taken it off before, you'll see there's a little seam that runs around the outside. Don't pull from the top. You're going to want to pull from the bottom so you don't snap off the little legs on top. What I like to do is grab down bottom and kind of get my fingernails in between that seam and give it a little pull. Now that that's open, this is your print head. Underneath this little boot is what gets hot. I'm going to show you the boot now. Again, this is where the hot end is, so be careful. This is the protective boot that's in there, and these things are replaceable. They do get a little bit beat up. You can see mine's a little bit melted around the edges here, but uh, I'm going to keep this one as a backup. It's not too bad. Now, once you have this open, now the print head is exposed. You'll see there's a little latch in the front here. You just flip it open. And there's another door in there that'll open up as well once you take the print head out. But uh, I like to grab this heat sink up top to stay away from the print head and just basically grab it and give it a little pull. There might be some filament stuck in there. It's not a big deal. And the best way to pull that out is just get, grab a pair of pliers, give it a little pull, and it should come right out. Now here is the new print head. I paid about $30 for this on Amazon. The brand name is Hick Top, and it's uh, a hardened hot end specifically for the bamboo. When you're orienting it, you want to make sure the flat side is facing into the printer. There's a little magnet up top that should kind of help it find its home. Um, but you're going to want to make sure you orient it correctly. Give it a little push to make sure it's nice and flush. You don't want to uh, try and force anything. Close the, the latch and then push down the clamp. And it should very easily push and lock into place. If you find yourself pushing really hard, something's not lined up. Just take it all out, start over again realign everything and make sure it closes nice and easily. Now it's time to put the new boot on. This basically can't leave us on from the bottom. Tilt it back towards yourself, put the tip in and then just push the top in. You'll see here it's a little bit weird to position because it's a tight area, but just uh, work the tip of the printhead through the hole in the bottom and then just push it in towards the heat sink and make sure the tip is the tip down bottom is exposed and not touching the boot anymore. You can just give it a little push. Let me grab the door, latch it on the top, give it a little push and you hear a little snap. Boom, there you go. You've now successfully installed your new hot end. On your screen, go back to settings and then maintenance, and we're gonna take it out of maintenance mode. Now, if you got a different size nozzle, or in my case, a different material hot end, you're gonna to wanna to let the printer know. So go into the nozzle settings and you'll see a bunch of different sizes and material types. I just got a standard hardened hot end. So I'm gonna select hardened with the same size. And now everything I print, the printer will be aware of the new type of hot end that I have. If you found this video useful, hit that thumbs up. If not, the thumbs down works as well. And as always, I appreciate the subscription. Peace.